Welcome to Paul's News on the Go, brought to you by ADB, Julia Creek, and more. The flag bearer of the opposition New Patriotic Party, Nana Akufuadu, has drawn conclusion that Ghana's economy is in crisis. Addressing what he termed as the real state of the nation today, Nanado attributed the crisis to reckless borrowing by an incompetent government, which he believes has led to unsustainable debt rates, which has officially closed the space for capital investments. In a sharp response, President Mahama said it is unfortunate that the NPP flag bearer is trying to minimize the achievements and the extent of development in the country. The opposition is exercising its democratic right to criticize, which is a proof that we are living in a healthy democracy. However, it would be wrong to try to minimize our achievements and the death of Ghana's transformation in the last three years, the president said. Meanwhile, the flag bearer of the new patriotic party, Nana Akufuadu, has asked government to suspend the passing of the postal packet and telecommunication messages bill. According to him, the bill will infringe on the privacy of people. Despite bill should not be passed, it's a major threat to individual freedom of expression and privacy. Nanando said this during his presentation of the Real State of the Nation address on Monday. A 33-year-old man is in the custody of the Bureau of National Investigations for allegedly saying that President John Dramani Mahama will fall during this year's Independence Day parade. The suspect, Kwame JB, was reported to the police after witnesses heard him allegedly made that comment at a drinking bar at Jowulu in Accra. And that was your Paul's News on the Go, brought to you by...